Hey there everyone, it's B, and today we'll be filming a favorites video for the month of March and I'm gonna try to be consistent and actually do these every month. March was honestly an incredible month and it's finally starting to look like spring outside, hence I'm just in such a good mood. And let's kick it right off. So the first and hands down the biggest favorite of the entire month was my trip to London with my boyfriend. And we went to London to see Bon Iver and it was an incredible concert. There was only one drawback to that, which is kind of big in my opinion, and it's that they didn't play my favorite song, which is Blood Bang. I'll insert some clips from the concert. It was beautiful. <laughs> The trip itself was very short but absolutely amazing and we stayed in this really gorgeous apartment that actually we got through Booking.com and I'm kind of friends with the company now. So in case you're planning to travel anywhere and need to book an apartment then I really recommend Booking because they more often than other places on the internet I find that have really good discounts for various hotels and hostels and apartments. I actually have a, a reference code like a link that you can click and you will have 25 euro credit for booking a stay through Booking.com that you will get after your stay there. Just like a little gift from me to you, which I think is really cool because I travel so much that I'm definitely gonna use that link myself as well. <laughs> Let's move into the next favorite and that is actually this book by Haruki Murakami called Kafka on the Shore and I was reading it all of March and I finished it and it looks really beat up. This is one of the most outlandish and surreal and weird books I've ever read. It's basically about two parallel stories about a 15 year old boy who ran away from home and a middle aged man. Completely surreal. That's why it's called Kafka on the Shore. The book is very Kafka-esque if you've ever read any of Franz Kafka's novels. Everything in it, you read it and you're just like, what? There's like people talking to cats and leeches and fish raining from the sky. It draws a connection between the various dimensions of human existence. The moral dimension with the physical dimension and how they can connect. When you actually finish it, you have this like insane moral revelation. I cried for like a half an hour at the end of the book. Just so raw and emotional and beautiful even though it makes no sense if you just look at it very literally. The way I recommend reading this book so that you wouldn't think that the author has just like gone bonkers perceive every single character and everything in it as a complete metaphor. I definitely recommend reading it. It's a discovery and I can't wait to read more of Haruki Murakami's works. My next favorite product is an eyeshadow palette and this is by Urban Decay and it's called the Heavy Metals Palette and it has absolutely insane colors in it. It's very, very bright. It's got like yellows and greens and reds and all kinds of those. I really like these very calm ones that you have on this side. They just bring so much light and glitter to your eyes. They're super duper pigmented. And I currently have the color acoustic, which is here in the corner on my lid. I'm just gonna use these and just put them somewhere as well. Just put this in the center and then the more orange one towards the corners. Oh, hey, this has turned into a makeup tutorial. Although what I have to say is I'm not a fan of the packaging because I feel like this kind of insertion is very uncomfortable because it's kind of easy to just drop it and lose it. I prefer packaging that opens up like that. In all other ways, this palette is a gem. Next up is one of those random products you see on the internet and sometimes buy and this is a black pearl and gold hydrogel eye patch by the brand Petite Fee and I got it on iHerb.com. They are these like yin yang shaped eye patches that come with a little spade and you kind of like lift one up and then put it underneath your eyes. Walking around with these you look like a panda but I normally leave them on for about 20 minutes and what they do is they completely reduce the puffiness under your eyes. I keep them in the fridge, that is the key. You have to keep them in a very cold place so that you put them on and they have this instant cooling effect and it's just so pleasant and they smell nice and I totally recommend these. When I'm gonna run out of I'm definitely gonna get them again. Next up is another iHerb item and this is by the brand Blue Bonnet and they're Earth Sweet Chewables with Vitamin B12 and Folic Acid. What I've noticed about my body since I have a vegan diet, oftentimes I lack B12 but I don't take supplements all the time and the way I realize that I have to take B12 again is when I have really like intense feelings of fatigue, when I'm just sleepy throughout the entire day and that's when I'm like okay I need to have B12 in my system. So I got these from iHerb because they are very tasty, they taste like raspberry and they have folic acid in them as well. It enhances cell division and growth 
both and also helps your brain. I just really recommend them for anyone who hates boring supplements and wants something more fun because these are delicious. Next there is a musical item which is a vinyl and this month we went to a music presentation by this band Polyfauna who were releasing their new album and they also released a vinyl with it and it's a very small Latvian band. I have used their music in my videos before. Uh, my boyfriend's friends with the singer of the band and they're just really really cool and I love supporting small artists especially if they come from Latvia. The album's called You Look Like a Lost Soul. Probably my favorite song on here is the most popular one which is called Hurt Me. I also really love Colors of Your Voice. So if you've never listened to them I definitely recommend it. I'll leave their links down below and like their Spotify and YouTube. The last two things are a fashion and a skincare item and the fashion item is this fanny pack or bum bag or whatever you want to call it by Nolo Fashion by my mom's brand and I like that it's so minimalistic, it's so elegant, it's vegan leather. It's just really easy to carry around all of your stuff and I like to either put it in the middle here like you put a normal fanny pack or I wear it diagonally like that and it also has this cool little keychain with binary code from the new collection of Nolo that was shown in fashion week like four days ago when the show was absolutely incredible. I actually made a video for that fashion week show so if you want to see that video head on to my Vimeo and that rhymed and I hope you like it. And then the last thing is a device that is a bit scary. It looks very big and scary, but this is called a Darsenval. And Darsenval himself was actually a scientist in France in the 1970s, I believe. He came up with this electromagnetic device that stimulates cell growth and it stimulates hair growth and it helps fight against acne because it kills the bacteria in your skin and basically just makes your skin more clear. I got this thing on eBay for like 20 bucks. They sell them for really, really cheap. The coolest thing about it is that it kind of looks like a light show because it lights up in all of these orange colors when you turn it on, which is very very satisfying. It comes with this kind of mushroom tip. And this tip is meant to get rid of various acne. Then with this round tip that's meant for specific spots on your face. So if there's a pimple you will like hold it on there and it will electrocute the spot. This helps to get in all sorts of creases for example in your nose or under here or like here. Probably my favorite one just because it looks the coolest is a comp and this you basically just brush your hair with like you normally would and it stimulates hair growth because all of the electrodes they stimulate blood flow to your scalp. So if you're having problems with hair loss, for example, then this is a really, really good thing to just motivate your head to grow some more hair. So that looks like everything for this favorites video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and had fun watching. Tell me your favorite products of this month in the comments down below and I hope you have a wonderful month of April. I love you all and goodbye.